viewers uh, my name is Maurice the crochet master and I would like to welcome everyone who is watching me wherever you are thank you so much for loving me and please if it's your first time to be on this channel make sure you click on the red button ring the bell so that you'll be the first person to watch all our videos yes I make sure that I upload a video every week for you guys so that we can keep uh we can keep learning uh, these different types of hair cell now on this one i just want to be uh, very clear with you guys that to those ones who have been asking me about uh, my extended dreadlocks please trust me these can be unlocked you can always unlock them and you remain with your hair protected so please, those ones who have been asking on how to uh, unlock these dreadlocks that I'm going to be doing today, I'm going to add the link in the in the description so that you can go and watch it, see how amazing, like after a year, you can always remove these dreadlocks. So uh, I, would, I would like to uh, say this today and for all days that please, those ones who always ask that question, Trust me, these dreadlocks, they are temporarily. It's just a matter of uh, repairing them uh, like other dreadlocks and it can stay for the whole year. So the only thing is to keep on repairing. And I always advise that when you're repairing, try to repair from the person who uh, did the locking. It is always bad like to play it from me and then you do the repair from somewhere else sometimes it is bad why it is because the way i lock it's not the way someone else is going to lock the hair so please that is my advice you guys who have uh, made these dreadlocks from me i'm the person who is supposed to do the repair in that way your hair is going to remain protected and yes it is very easy to unplate as as you're going to be seeing in those videos that i'm going to add in the description please try to go there and watch them perfectly they will show you from the start up to the end how you get back your hair so those ones who thought that this is permanent it is not at all yes i'm going to try to talk about some things that have been uh are teaching you in those previous videos uh, showing you how to do these uh, soft extended dreadlocks in that I was trying to tell you that we always have two different types of locking one it is this uh, the V locking and now we have the cross locking the V locking we all I said that we always do it on the hair that is very thick and then the cross locking we do it on the hair that is very very soft so please you should also know about those methods and i've been telling you like whenever we are locking we always make sure that we leave a quarter inch after locking like this the way i'm doing you just leave a quarter inch in that you leave the space for the extension also like you leave the space for the extension why people always say that dreadlocks are painful it is just because when they're doing this a uh, step they always overlock it up to the scalp and now when they add in the extension you find out that it is painful like when they are going to lock it again i hope that most of you guys have experienced that and i know that you know what i'm trying to talk about here so if still you that kind if you're one of them you can always go in my comment section and tell me what was uh, the experience that you got about that but now we no longer have that as long as you learn how to use this technique you see how i'm locking it is only the v locking very easy and i always leave that space for the uh the the extension that i'm going to be adding in so this is how it is done and always make sure that you line them very well you pad them very well your boxes are very neat mostly we use rectangular shapes they are very very neat and your dreadlock is going to be very very perfect yes sometimes i pity those ones uh, those ones who did uh, the uh, the natural dreadlocks you find out like 
they uh the person who made the natural dreadlocks didn't make the perfect parting and now uh, someone looks at herself like it is not neat so the whole thing of a dreadlocks you need a good foundation of it so this is the hair extension that i'm going to use it is called afro kinky and this is the way i have to make it soft because i want my dread to look soft to be soft enough oh just like this is how we do it I'm going to show you something uh, here like this. This is how we always pass our pass our uh, extension, very soft like that. And then we hold the hair. We start hooking it. You can see the hair is individual, so you can be seeing it when unlocking. You see, you just pass it like up and then down, then just like this. So the question in your head is what if you want long dreads and the hair that is passing through you can see the hair that is passing through is done what do you do and this is what i'm going to be showing you so when the hair is done you see you just have to there are those you know kink is rough so you just have to combine them with your hand with your hands so you keep uh, pulling them so that they create another hair you see now it is it is there already but uh, i had already finished the hair now i'm using the kinky to pass through that there's no need of separating the kink again and you start locking you just have to use those rough kinks that you see the, the rough uh hair that you see on the on the on the extension now the locking you can see because i left the other inch sorry now you can see the locking is very easy so we always try to maintain the level of the size that the client wants so after all that i found out that it was somehow short according to what she wants so i'm trying to add so that we reach on that exact uh size that she wants so those are the things that you can always do when doing dreadlocks i repeat these everyone who always asks me if these dreadlocks can be uh, removed it is true you can always unlock them and you get back your hair that is true and if you want to prove it please just go right in my comment in my description i'm going to add those links on how to remove these dreadlocks there you'll be satisfied and you get to do them perfectly you will always come and do these dreadlocks because what i know about them they are very soft and very easy to unplate even maintaining is very maintenance is very very easy so uh, those ones who always see uh, those ones who have been following me ever since we started i know you know all these methods that i'm using here and i've tried to teach my colleagues you see now she's a girl she's doing it perfectly i've tried to teach all these people so that the work is very smooth in that when i lock and they finish the the locking you find by the time like i would have taken when i'm alone it's just it gets faster and we get done as soon as possible so these are the soft extended dreadlocks and please i still repeat these it can always be removed don't get scared of your hair type even if it is straight laxed and those ones with natural hair just come and enjoy these soft extended dreadlocks
so when we are done with all that we just have to do the trimming very well you do the trimming very well to remove those uh kinky mm, well rough things those ones you remove them then we just have to add in our anti itchy and it is called mdc hair oil very very nice yes it keeps the scalp healthy yes avoid dandruff and that itch so this is what we do you can see how amazing the dreadlocks looks like and what i love about it it is very very soft very soft if you do your dreadlocks and after they even do the massage that means the scalp is very free it is not straining at all so now this is how this is how it looks our dreadlocks and you can see that color <laughs> reflecting it was was her hair it is her hair so it means unplating is very easy she can be seeing what to unplate so this is what i got for you guys if you want to know more about these dreadlocks i'm going to add the link in the description so that those ones who are new can also learn the same technique and trust me you will love it you will love it because I've been hearing people say that whenever they do these artificial dreadlocks, it is always hard for them to unlock them. But this one is very, very easy. For now, I'm going to be signing out. My name is Maurice, the Crochet Master. May God bless you all. But please don't forget to click on the red button. And please make sure you leave a like for me. I love that. And if you can always go in the comment section, tell me where you're watching me from, and I'll be happy to reply you. Bye-bye. See you in my other next video.